Hi all, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv. Thanks for joining me as always. I hope that you guys all had a super weekend. I know that I did. I didn't manage to watch much of a dance yesterday, or any should I say, yesterday, because I was at a wedding all day. But when I come back very, very late, or early hours this morning, I managed to catch up on yesterday's action. I see a third of games and skip through the others. Now, when I was watching some of the games like Wadey against Keegan Brown and Chizzy against Vincent van der Voort um, and the way that Jamie Lewis um, was playing yesterday, it made me want to do this video even more. This video is basically, it's, you know, are many players in the danger of being replaced? Are the new breed of players coming through more hungry, more dedicated than what some of these seasoned pros are that have been knocking around sort of top 16 for some time? You know, over the years, we've seen many, many decent players fade away and your time do come. Or, you know, you need to change something, mix it up a little bit. You know, we've seen uh, the huge decline of Wes Newton, Paul Nicholson, Colin Lloyd, John Park, Kevin Painter, Ronnie Baxter. It just goes on and on. All quality players that not so long ago or a few years ago many of them were in the top 16. Um, as you can see I've got these players here that I want to focus on and, and just quickly run through them but these are ones that I see in real danger of slipping away and if these guys get out of maybe the top 16 or whatever are they good enough to have good runs in tournament to get back into it? I want to know what you guys think and leave your comments below but let's just have a quick look at them. You know we've got James Wade here Adrian Lewis, Chizzy Chisnell, Kim Hybrex, Benito van der Paz, Robert Thornton. Let's have a look at them. James Wade to start off with. Over the last few years, or, or the last year or so, yes, they say he's coming back to his best, which, yeah, he may be, but he's still losing a lot of games that he wouldn't have done a good few years ago. James Wade is not the solid player. Whether it's down, we all know that he has um, a lot of different issues off the board and that. Um, I mean, you see him in some of his interviews, will say he's practicing his good, his game's coming back. But I don't see it. I don't see that James Wade is that player that he was them all, all them years ago. We then go on to Adrian Lewis. And I know that I've covered this in another video. Now, Jackpot Lewis is a quality player. And I always think that he's going to have the potential to get back into the top 16. Regardless of what happens in these World Starts Championship if he drops out. But again, you know... He's had a lot going on in his life and personal life and different things. But again, it's the dedication and, and the practice and that, which I think some of these seasoned pros now really need to knuckle down and get back to so that they can stay in the top 16. Do you know what I mean? Because these new breed, they want them. They want to be where they are and they will practice and they will dedicate and give everything to have a chunk of it. Do you know what I mean? There's big, big money in darts now. Thanks to Mr. Barry. I know they're talking about 2020, half a million or a million pound for the winner, I think. Not half a million. You know, it's crazy insane money. These guys can become mega, mega rich from the sport. Let's have a look at Chizzy Chisnell. What, you know, what's happened to Dave Ch He ain't the player he was. You know, he's got his, um, you know, his twitch has got worse. He's, he's not winning games that he should have done. He's, he's, not ha he's now out of the world last night getting beaten by Vincent van der Voort. He's going to slip down the rankings even more, which means um, if he gets out of that top, you know, 8 or 16 or whatever, he's then going to have to play a top 8 player to get any further. Can I see him doing it? Not at the moment. Does he need more coaching? Does he need a mix-up? Does he need a new manager? He needs something. Dave Chizzy Chisnell needs something because what, where he is at the moment, he ain't good enough. This is my opinion. You guys can leave yours below, but he is not good enough. Something is not right there with Chizzy Chisnell. Kim Hybrex, um, another one I just wanted to put on here. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not where he is either. Kim Ibrex, a couple of years ago, he went downhill after being in that Premier League. He was playing some awesome darts before that. I've never really seen him as what I would say one of the top five or six players, but he was certainly breaking into the, you know, the, well, he was in the, uh, the top ten, wasn't he? But again, there's something, his game isn't now like what it was. Yes, of course he can hit his eye averages on certain days and that, but... I fear for him. I really fear for Kim Hybrix. Benito van der Pass, let's have a look at him. He's been knocking around the top 16 for a couple of years now. He ain't going anywhere. I don't think he's been further than a quarter final um, in, a, in a TV tournament in the major. You know, these other players that are in the top 5, 6, 10, they're doing it on a regular basis. Benito van der Pass has not been, correct me if I'm wrong on this, guys, but past a quarter final on a TV tournament. He isn't good enough. 
Benito van der Poel's lose too many games. His darts don't look right to me either. He throws them, but they don't seem to go in the board right. He has more, he has nearly as many dropouts. No, that's an exaggeration. But he has so many that drop out. Benito van der Poel's, you know, is going to, is on the decline in my eyes. He's going to be well and truly going down. But, and he's going to have to be careful that he's not another Wes Newton or something. Then go Robert Thornton, obviously a two times major winner. You know, is he on the verge of really, really dropping out of the elite? He won obviously his first round in this World Championship. Um, is two time major winner. But again, is he is he good enough to be up here with these new players coming through? Let's have a look at some of these new players. You've got Rob Cross, had the best um year on the PDC tour that there has been. Um one, I think three players championships is is making quarterfinals, semifinals of the big big telly, you know, TV tournaments. He is a quality player. He's gonna jump into that top. He's gonna be a top eight player. It wouldn't surprise me if he's in the not the top four by this time next year. Carl Anderson, another one. He dedicates everything for his darts. He's moved away from Australia. His family. His dedication is. You can see it's there. He is gonna be climbing up them rankings. Um, he's a quality player. It's just a dedication. Dimitri van der Berg, obviously, you know, he, he got through uh, against Stephen Bunton. This guy is hungry. His dedication. I've seen his tweets. He loves everything about it. He loves the lifestyle. He's young. Um, you know, he can put the hours in. Uh, Gerwin Price, another one who, who a lot of people are talking about the Premier League. I'm not sure he's going to be in it. But... He's playing the, some really, really good darts at the moment. I can see him having a run in these worlds. You know, he went through, he went for, uh, Ted, I think it was Ted Everts he beat in the first round 3 0. Ted wasn't at his best, but the aggression, he's got it. He wants, boom! He wants it. He wants to go further. This guy, um, Gerwin Price, is dedicated. Keegan Brown, last night, he beat Wadey. I see him a couple of years ago, um, Keegan Brown, and I know that he still works a lot of hours. I think he's a nurse. Or something like that. His nickname's The Needle. But he quite often, you know, it's even after this win last night against Wade, he's like, I'm back to work on Tuesday, then I'm going to ask for some time off. If Keegan Brown has got the raw talent, if this guy just practiced darts day in, day out, with the right dedication, he is going to be moving up and replacing some of these players I've got here. Um, Corey Cadby, another one, as you know, I really, really like him. Yes, he's got to go to Coo School this year and get through. Um, I think he'll make it, even if he don't. He is going to be a guy that in the next year, two years, is going to be in the top 16, no problem at all. So this video really is just about the change in players. Are some of these seasoned pros, and I just picked the six that you can see above there, because they're ones that I wanted to speak about. There is others, um, but I didn't want to cover too many. But are some of these seasoned pros, if they don't change something and mix it up a little bit, are they in danger of the likes of Cross, Anderson, Dimitri van der Berg, Price, Keegan Brown, Corey Cadby, um, and many, many others coming through? You know, maybe over the next few years, how, how Everts is going to... Um, Progress. A lot of people say he's a quality player. Steve West, yes, he's older, but he's playing really well as well. You know, how many of these are going to be replacing them? Guys, leave your comments below. Um, I'll get back to you as always, but let's have a chat of what you guys think. Are they in danger? Are they going to be fading out? As always, thanks for joining me in this video today, and I can't wait to um, give you my day eight predictions, which will be out tomorrow for the World Starts Championship. If you haven't subscribed already, please do, and don't forget to leave a big fat like and check out dartsplanet.tv. As always, it's been a pleasure, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.